Alrighty, hey guys, the Beard Brigade here. I decided to go back a little ways, back to 2005, and uh, in my Steam games, I actually bought a um, Star Wars pack. So we went to a little time travel here, went back to 2005, 13 years ago, uh, almost 14 years ago now, uh, to check out the original Battlefront 2. Uh, I had loved this game when it was out, and. Um, when the new Battlefronts came out, I played the crap out of the first one. A little disappointed into it, but I enjoyed it because it was a Star Wars game. Battlefront 2 came out, I was so excited that they were oh they were doing another another Battlefront. Maybe a little, little pick up and, and do some of the game modes and, and some of the options that the original Battlefront 2 had. Yeah, they kinda of fell. I mean the, it, the don't get me wrong, the new Battlefront 2 is a wonderful and a fantastic game, but still falls flat for me. Uh, in comparison to uh, the original one. Uh, it has been 13 years since this game has been released. I literally have the graphics and, and my graphic settings maxed out, and the graphics are still, at least in comparison to what we, we see today, not that great. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and dive in here. I'm gonna play uh, a space battle. Uh, Hopefully this space battle doesn't go too horribly long, and then it's going to be followed up by a land battle. I'm going to be battling for the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk for this. Uh, so we're just going to go dive right in here. And I just, I'm going to be doing it in Clone Wars as well, just so you guys know. Um, I really, oh man, I just really... Let's see, let's play as Republic of the Droids. We'll play as Republic because I love the clones. So pilot, clone marine. Lando pistol fusion of car time bomb. I'm sure we'll be the pilot because I want to pretty much fly around. Fly around. Bomber incoming. Repeat. Bomber incoming. Enter exit vehicle. There we go. Alright, I'll wait for some people to load up here. Oh. Not sure what's happening there with the graphics. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Well, look at this guys. This is look at the graphics compared to what we see in today's in today's environment. Oh Oh I, I think I, I think I just died. Yeah, I just died. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. Alright, so since we. Whoa, I don't know why my screen keeps going black on me. That's not good, guys. Our frigate was destroyed. Check out that landing party. All right, let's see here. Gotta take this guy out. Uh, God, just imagine. Oh, I'm trying to get this. Yeah, we got the frigate. I mean, oh. I, I kind of wish they had this game mode in the new one. Just because I, I think it would be... So much more fun, to be honest. Do I want the Jedi ship? Or... So that droid will heal me. There we go. There's his fighter. Um, I just, I think this game mode would be just so much more fun in the new one. Because there'd be just so much more to it. I mean, so many more fighters you could have on the field. 
Uh, and just overall goodness, I am not used to. I guess it isn't that way. I kind of thought that my configuration it is set up that way. Never mind, I am right. I'm not used to the inverted sticks for flying. I usually I usually just go with a normal. Oh, I got killed by an auto turret. Man, but I just, I just think this game mode would be really fun. Like, have the hangers full of like you know a fighter pilot hangar and you know just uh, it'd be a lot of fun if they had this kind of kind of setup. We have to board the enemy ship and, and stuff like that. I don't know why my screen keeps going black. I, maybe it's the recording? Oh, it's something about when I jump into the ships. Okay. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I will try and figure out how to get that not to happen again. Woohoo! I mean. Ugh. Oh, I still miss these this days the old days of playing this game, man. Like this bring back memories of like staying up all night and just playing Star Wars. Like Oh yeah, look at that mad skill guys. I totally just bossed that. Whoa. I really don't know who's winning, to be honest. Like, 75, 180, 45 out of 180, 46 out of 180, like, is it how many points we have? Or... I didn't really look at the game. Their engines have been destroyed. I guess it is, okay, yeah, I guess we are... I guess we're fighting to 180 here. Sensor relay. Oh, I think I just blew up my own guy. Oh, I think it was my own guy I just killed. I feel kind of horrible. Apparently I have infinite, like, torpedoes and stuff. Oof. A sensor in. Yeah, I just, I really kind of wish we had this game mode in, in the new Battlefront 2. I mean, come on guys, look at this. An epic space battle like this would be so cool. Yeah, I remember the um, um those uh, transport ships. Those transport ships used to be my jam. Um, there was just something about uh, about them that was just that was my thing. Um, when I when I originally played this game back in the day. And I was so excited when this one came out because I enjoyed the first one, the original first one, uh, a lot when that one was out. And, uh, like I said, you know, I remember the, you know, staying up to the, all night long to, to play and I just having a good old time with it. And just, I remember spending hours on, uh, on, uh, on this game mode, well, on this game mode alone, just doing the space battles. Because um, one of my one of my all-time favorite scenes from Star Wars, actually, is from 
might be it's support systems have been destroyed. I wanna say it's um uh, The Empire Strikes Back? Now I'm drawing a blank on which movie it's in. I feel like a horrible Star Wars fan all of a sudden. Yes. <laughs> Because I can't remember which movie this particular scene is in. I think it's um yeah, it would have to be Empire Strikes Back because it's, it's it's episode five where you know they escaped Hoth and then. After escaping Hoth, they decide to, or like uh, Han Solo and, and Princess Leia, uh, you know, they're running from the Imperials, and uh, they end up going, like, running away from a, a cruiser, an Imperial cruiser, and they end up going into an uh, asteroid field. I remember watching that scene and just falling, falling in love with, not like Sci-fi to an to an extent because I mean I was already liked sci-fi because I was watching Star Wars, but after seeing that scene specifically, I, I really 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 put me interested more interested into uh, more fight-based games. And that we had some as a kid, especially because my my. Uh, my dad at the time when I was a kid was uh, actually in the Air Force. Uh, so we lived, we didn't live on base, but we lived just off base. Um, uh, you know, and, and uh, got to you know, kind of grow up seeing a lot of the different planes and stuff that are that we use in, in our Air Force. And um, just seeing that scene. Um, in in the original Star Wars movies, where they're flying through the the, the asteroid field, just really, um, really, really, just I don't know, like, uh, gave me a love for space combat, and and and, and to some like I said, like I said, to some extent, uh, science fiction in general, uh, especially uh, like space science fiction. Alright, so now we have most of that destroyed. So, uh, look, look at that. Imagine that with, like, brand new up-to-date graphics that are just awesome. Now engines have been destroyed. Oof. I, think, I just think that would be really cool. Is that not their control tower? I thought that was their targeting control tower. Oh, I guess it is right there. Oh, I guess we won. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. Uh, it didn't take too long after all. So we'll take the battle to the ground. Traitor, Green Brigade. I was Bantha fodder. <laughs> of course I was. I was Gord Top on my team. There we go. Uh, but I did die the most. Alright, let's go on to the next battle here. Oh, Bothan spies. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. Alright guys, so, uh, full swing here in the battle for Kashyyyk. I was having some, uh, some pretty, uh, intense graphic issues again. <laughs> uh, like, I mean, I, if you guys uh, noticed during the, the space battle I was having stuff, uh, the screen just kind of go, uh, black on me every so often. Why can I play as Yoda? 
Um, yeah, it was just having the screen kept just going black, and it was weird. And uh, tried this is my like fourth or fifth attempt on uh, on this mode uh, to try and get this to to go. Um, do I have to be out of the vehicle to capture the points? There it goes again. I start shooting and oh, oh, I survived somehow. All right, um, oof, this is intense. Like, it's a challenge to kind of sit here and play with the. Uh, uh <laughs> trends here and play. With the thing going in now, I mean, it's, it's uh, a different way to try and get through this, that's for sure. Let's see how this loads. I want to play somebody in a different class. I'm trying to remember how to do all this stuff. Um, when I originally played, I was playing on. A command post is the um, but not the battle. Command post under attack. Oh, no, that's the engineer. I want the commander. Um, when I originally played Battlefront 2, it was, I think it was on the the Xbox, actually. Oh no. Another command post for the Republic. Oh no. Command post under attack. Oh no. <laughs> All I have is a black screen. Oh my goodness. Are we, are we gonna kid? We're gonna, am I gonna, maybe? <laughs> oh man. Well guys, we're gonna have to respawn, maybe? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on. So anyway, that was that was you know just kind of the basic scenario, I guess, a little bit. Um, Birth of the Rebellion, Confederate Uprising, Public Sovereignty. Is that All fleet awaiting orders, sir. Yeah, it's the one where you get to play as the Republic. God, I remember this game mode. And to try and conquer, and try and conquer the galaxy. Um, dang. So you need to recruit the different troops. Oh, command space only. Clone commander. Clone engineer. That's the clone commander. Oof. How far we have come, guys. Um. Select a bonus for purchase. Oh, there's alternates. Oh man, look at all these goodies. All fleets on standby. Yeah, this brings back so many memories. Anyway, guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, back on that. Continue that later. Now, there's even a um, campaign that you could play through. Oh, this whole game was just it was so much fun. Um, and other than you know, the new Battlefronts aren't fun or aren't good games. I mean, they're good games, but I mean, just these old ones, this old school one, it was just so 
the features in it. If you take some of the features from the new one and the graphics and put it into this one, I think it would be I think it'd be a lot of fun. Like in, in the new one, you can take your guns and customize them uh, a little bit. You can add a couple mods to them. I think that's fantastic. If you can add that to this, and even just have a, a, a character that you can customize yourself. Uh, like in the first first reboot of Battlefront, you could um, customize your character a little bit. You could change the head. And uh, there was different like, uh, suits you could wear depending on what side you were on. Um, but now in Battlefront 2, there's just skins you can get. And it's kind of... Uh, it's, almost, it's almost fun. Um, like, I really would like to, to, like, customize my character all the way and, like, maul out my Star Wars gun and, you know, just have some, some really cool fun with it. And, um, one of the things that I saw recently, uh, before I wrap up here, is, um, Disney has their new streaming app coming out soon. And there's a live action Star Wars show that I really want to watch tonight. There's two of them. And they're only going to be on that streaming app. And uh, unfortunately, too, I saw an article that I read the other day where because of how poorly the Han Solo movie as well as The Last Jedi did in the box office, they've actually decided to pull a lot of their Star Wars projects. Um, like they were planning on doing some additional spinoff movies. Um, there was going to be an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie, there was going to be a potential Boba Fett movie, um, from what I heard, um, that got cut and canned. Um, there was a, a new trilogy that they were going to do that wasn't going to be related to the Skywalker storyline of episodes one through nine at all. It was going to be just a brand new story that got cut from what I heard, um, when I read this article. And I, it's just, it's saddening because the Star Wars universe is such a wonderful thing and it's built such a huge fan base since the original films. And it's something that I've grown up with and I'm getting to be able to pass that on to my kids a little bit. And it's a fantastic thing to sit down and, and enjoy the movies and uh, enjoy some of the games with the kids. and. Uh, you know, even even talk about the action figures and stuff. Like, um, for my son, I have a bunch of like little Star Wars plushies that I've gotten for him, and he loves them. Yeah, he cuddles with them all the time. It's great. So, I don't know. Just to kind of see Disney taking this franchise, like, yeah, they kind of beat it with a dead horse a little bit, um, as some people will say. But with some of the things that they were hinting at, they were really going for. I think they were trying to go, because when Disney took over the, the Star Wars franchise, it did, took uh, the expanded universe that had become canon for so many fans, uh, they kind of got rid of it. And they were said, nope, whatever, the, the new canon is episodes one uh, through six at the time, the Clone Wars TV show, Rogue One the movie, and that was it. And then they started having new Star Wars movies come out. Um, and everything else was just kind of like, oh, well, the Old Republic didn't happen. Well, it's a shame because it's three video games worth of stuff that has fantastic story content. Uh, you know, the, the Darth Revan and uh, the, the wars, the, the, the two great galactic wars, um, the... Um, the, the Gree Empire, and the... Or is it the Kree? The, the, the Gree or the Kree, I don't remember. They're, 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 like, they're like Tron people, basically. <laughs> um, uh, not the Yuuzha Vong, the Yuuzha Vong. Well, yeah, they got rid of the Yuuzha Vong, too, because that's a expanded Easter universe stuff that happens after the original movies. Um, God, the Infinite Empire, I'm trying to remember the name of the species, but I can't. Um, as well as there was a great graphic novel series that explained um, uh, really the, the concept I had talked about in one of my, my another one-off video that I'd done uh, doing one of the RTS games. Um, the, the 
how the Force isn't including evil, how the Force is just one big thing, and it's how you use the Force. Uh, and it talks about the original, who would later become the Jedi, the original group of people, um, and this weird technology that brought them to this planet, and this planet was literally based on the Force. You had to balance the Force, or the planet would start to tear itself apart, and it was amazing, there's just so much to it. Um, there's been added over the years, and it's kind of been wiped away, and then Star Wars, like, with, uh, The Last Jedi that, uh, you know, uh, I mentioned in that, that previous video too, Kylo Ren talking about doing something new, getting rid of the Sith ways and the Jedi ways, and doing something new based on just the Force. I mean, they were, they were going into that, and now we're gonna get this last Star Wars movie in the next year or so, and that's gonna be it. Like, there's not gonna be anything to expand on it. Again, you know, maybe we'll get a couple of novels and stuff like that that'll be considered canon now, like we did with, um, you know, the the build up to uh, the the Force Awakens and, and you know any novels and things like that that we've had since. Uh, you know, plus we have you know the comic line that they have going on, but you know, there's just so much stuff that's been taken away and so many things that they started to hint at and, and hint that they were bringing back or could be going to be possibly considering more again and you we're going to kind of miss out on it because we're not going to be getting as much Star Wars as as I would hope so anyway guys I, I've rambled all over and I'm all sitting on this screen um so we gotta, we gotta, gotta get wrapped up here so of course um it's it's probably uh everybody's favorite time of the video. Let us see here. I'm gonna have to add a song of the day and a song to the eclectic playlist. And you know what? I can't think of a better song. Um, let's, I brought it up. I'm actually gonna add this song because it's a great freaking song too. Um, the Asteroid Field. It's a song that plays during the scene with the Millennium Falcon uh, flying through the asteroid field, being chased by the Tie Fighters, and, and the Empire Strikes Back. That's gonna be our nerd eclectic song. As for our song of the day, yeah, yeah, song of the day, yeah, yeah. Uh. I want to go back to the first movie. Um, why don't we go back to the first movie uh, for this one? And you know, I think I might actually pull. I'm gonna go with the original song too. I was thinking of doing one of the many, many covers of it. But I think we're going to go with the actual legitimate... Yeah. <laughs> the legitimate... The Cantina Band song from the original movie. The do 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 That is going to be... Our Beer Brigade song of the day. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning into this, uh... Kind of nostalgic one-off episode here. I appreciate it. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. I know there was like a lot of struggle through it, um, but go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, if you want to catch my next episode, go ahead and hit that subscribe. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> if you're waiting to, to catch my next episode after seeing this one and seeing what else I might be able to throw at you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so YouTube will let you know right away when that episode is out. As always, guys. Follow me on Instagram at BeardBrigade0. Follow me on Twitter at BrigadeBeard. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel if, if you like what you've been talking to. Or like what I've been talking about. If you want to get in touch with me, you know, hey, give me a comment below. Or you can always head over to the uh, website in the description there. Hit up that, con that uh, contact me section and uh, send me, drop me a line and then uh, get in touch. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. You have a fantastic rest of your day, and you take care of yourselves.